experiment, we're going to analyse the products that this candle forms when it burns. So the candle is a kind of an unusual device, really, because everyone often thinks that it's the wick that burns. The wick doesn't burn. It's the candle wax that burns. The wick just soaks up that melted wax and allows it to burn in a controlled way. So the candle wax is what we're interested in, and that's a hydrocarbon. So it's effectively a really long alkane. If it's a hydrocarbon, that means it's made of hydrogen and carbon. So we might like to make a guess about what products we think we're going to get from it when we burn it. Okay, I'm just going to set light to that candle and put it underneath this funnel. Now this whole system is connected up finally at the end of it here to a suction pump that's on my tap. So when I turn that on, it's going to suck everything through this whole system here and any products that that candle makes when it burns will have to go first of all through this U-tube that's really cold so that should condense any liquid products that it might make. And then finally, it's going to go through this boiling tube, which has got lime water in it. So we might like to think about whether you know what lime water is used for. Okay, so I'm going to turn the suction pump on. You can see it's already sucking um, products through. At the moment, there's nothing um, really other than just air going through. Okay. I'll set light to my candle. pop it underneath and then any products that the candle makes while it's burning will get sucked through this whole system. Now it takes a little while and it's a little bit dull if we're watching it for the whole time so we'll just leave that running and we'll come back to it later. Okay now we come back to this after we've been about five minutes um, you can see that the bubbles are still being sucked through this lime water, but the lime water looks very different now. So that should be really good evidence for us that about one of the products that's come off the burning of this candle. And I'll leave you to think about what that must be. I'm going to turn the pump off now, um, and I want to have a look at what's going on in here. In this, um, let's just remove that as well. Um, I want to have a look at what's going on in here in this YouTube. So I'm just going to take the stand away and lower this ice bath away from it. Okay. So you can see um, that there's something, there's definitely something in that in that YouTube. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. Okay. It looks like there's some colourless liquid floating around as it's moving around in the bottom of that YouTube. So what we need to do now is to analyse this and see if we can figure out what it might be. Now one of the most obvious things um, is to think that it might be, well it may be water, because it looks like water, so we need to devise a test where we can prove that it's water. Now I don't feel I've really got enough in there to go testing the boiling point, so I'm going to use a chemical test to see if this is water. I'm going to use something called cobalt chloride paper. Now I've got a little bit here, get it ready. You can see my cobalt chloride paper is blue. Now when cobalt chloride paper comes into contact with water, it goes pink. So I'm going to remove some of the water from um, this other tube here and put it onto my cobalt chloride paper. Let's see if I can pour it very gently and carefully. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I think that's pretty good. My paper has got a very distinct pink colour to it. Okay. So I think that's pretty good evidence that there was water in that YouTube. 